As the calendar flips and we advance to August, most of us cool off with a dip in the pool. Traditionally though, the Tigers merely melt, having played sub-500 baseball for the month in each of the past three summers. Is 09 the year, meanwhile, that the dog days don't do in Detroit? Rick Porcello's on the hill, and in the first, he gives up the RBI single to Johnny Peralta. Pretty Sizemore has us up one zip. Porcello, though, would recover, takes care of Shinsu Chu in the third. Porcello was very, very good in this one for the most part. Against him, Jeremy Sowers. Sowers also good, and well, also good is Grady Sizemore. Ranging from his position in center, way over to right to snag that one. Sizemore, vintage play from him right there. Sowers with a shutout through four. Problems in the sixth, though. Miguel Cabrera with an RBI to left. This scores Placido Polanco, 2-1 Tigers. Porcello, meanwhile, cruising. Sizemore flies out to end the eighth. That's the second straight 1-2-3 inning. He leaves after eight. Just that one run. He ends it over Fernando Rodney in the ninth. And what does Rodney do? He promptly wastes it. First batter he sees is Azdrubal Cabrera. A leadoff triple off the wall in right. Cabrera would tie on a sack fly. Porcello, nothing to show for his effort. We're off to extras. We go to the 12th. Tigers go in front. Ryan Rayburn scores Placido Polanco in the little RBI. 3-2 Detroit. They get another run on a buck to go up 4-2. The Tribe, though, do not go down easy. One run in already. The tying run's on third. Zach Miner gets Grady Sizemore to pop out and end it. 4-3 Tigers, your final. It goes as a 12-inning marathon. Porcello, well, he was great, but his bullpen did him in. The two teams combined to strand 42 runners. Ryan Rayburn, meanwhile, he's the hitting star for the Tigers. Three for six. He knocks in the go-ahead run in the 12th. The Tigers, though, they start August 1-0.